This is the brand new Insta360 GO 3S, which now shoots 4K videos. This camera looks almost identical to the Insta360 GO 3, but this new GO 3S now has a 4K sensor, a faster processor, it's equipped with Apple Find My, and a bunch of other new features as well. So let's get into it. I'm sure you're all curious what the footage from this camera actually looks like, and I don't want to keep you waiting, so I'm filming on it right now at 4K 30 FPS. And the audio you're hearing right now is also just straight off of the camera without any extra accessories. Now, Insta360 did send me this camera before the launch so that I could test it out and make this review video, but this is not a sponsored video. The CPU computing power has been increased by 50% to help process the larger 4K video files and improve the performance. The detachable camera has been upgraded to IPX8 waterproofing that can go down to 33 feet underwater. And the action pod is now IPX4 splash proof, but that's only when the camera is attached to the action pod. Along with the increased 4K resolution, it also gets some higher frame rates at lower resolution, maxing out at 200 FPS at 1080p. And this is the first action camera to ever be equipped with Apple Find My. So if you lose this camera, you can locate it using the Apple Find My app on your iPhone. The camera module itself is also completely compatible with the old Go 3 Action Pod. So if you already own the Go 3 and you want to save some money, you can actually purchase this as a standalone camera and then use it in your old Action Pod. All you need to do is update the Action Pod with the latest firmware. This camera has a special video mode called free frame mode. And what it does is it allows you to change the aspect ratio of a video even after filming it. So you can take the same video clip and then export it with either a wide landscaped 16 by nine aspect ratio or a tall skinny portrait mode nine by 16 aspect ratio. And in the free frame video mode, it also has horizon lock stabilization, which means you can turn the camera all the way upside down and the video will stay level the whole time. Now, while the original GO 3 is capable of shooting at 2.7K at its highest resolution, it drops all the way down to 1440p when using the free frame video mode. But the new GO 3S can now shoot at 4K resolution, even in free frame mode. However, it does come with a bit of a trade-off because now when you switch to portrait mode, the GO 3S will have a narrower field of view than the old GO 3. And this is also the case with horizon lock mode enabled. The field of view is narrower on the new GO 3S. However, this can all just be avoided by filming in the regular 4K video mode on the GO 3S and then just turning the camera sideways when you want to film portrait videos, just like you would with any other camera. Personally, I think this is a good trade-off because I would much rather have a camera that can shoot at 4K resolution and just have horizon lock turned off to get a wider field of view than to have a camera that can shoot with a wide field of view with horizon lock on, but only at 1440p resolution. For clarification, horizon lock is different than video stabilization. And both of these cameras can have the maximum video stabilization turned on while retaining the widest field of view. While filming at 4K 30fps, the GO 3S camera by itself has 32 minutes of battery life. And then when it's attached to the action pod, it has 122 minutes. It has a new hand gesture recognition option that allows you to start and stop video recording and snap photos with a simple hand gesture. And there have also been improvements made to all of the accessories that come in the box. With an upgraded magnetic pendant that has a squishy back to make it more comfortable. The clip mount for attaching this to your hat or the edge of other thin objects has been upgraded with stronger magnets. The upgraded adhesive pivot stand can now stick to curved surfaces with the flexible multi-use sticky base 
and the cover that keeps the adhesive clean when you're not using it is now just attached to the stand so you don't lose it. The removable lens guard on the camera has been upgraded with textured edges, so it's easier to grip it when you're trying to remove it. And there's this new quick reader that's available for purchasing separately that can be used for transferring all of the photos or videos from your camera onto an SD card with the single press of a button. And then from here, you can transfer those files onto the rest of your devices with the built-in lightning port or USB-C port. If you are interested in purchasing this camera, there is a link for it in the description below. You can go watch some more of my videos over here, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.